Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm posting two videos. So the previous video was on my review of Backchat London and what I think they should do for the next season. So if you want to click over and watch that, that little video, you can go ahead. But this video is going to be a different video. I decided to do two videos um, because I haven't posted in a month. So I'm posting back to back videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. But yeah, this video is more so based on the climate that's going on in the world right now. Um, I think I would be serving in an injustice if I didn't speak on how I'm feeling about what's going on in the world of 2017. I think one thing that has um, been problematic for me is that all of these things, all of these isms, you know, sexism, racism, classism, have existed for ages, for years, for decades, for centuries. And I guess the, the point of this video for me is to really highlight that you should be practicing activism at every stage of your life. Never fall into a bandwagon where you're just doing it because everyone else is doing it. We should, as people, not follow trends and instead live lives organically. In the world of 2017, it is no surprise that Donald Trump is the president of the United States of America, where I'm from, and it's an unfortunate thing. Um, it just highlights all the injustices that is within our political system, how the power of the people was kind of ignored and, you know, um, corrupted, you know, government officials are able to dictate the future of a country rather than the people who live, you know, the masses that live there. But I guess the point of my video is not so highlighting that, but talking about the agency that's within all of us. On that note, um, I've been seeing a lot of people, um, you know, in, in my life, whether that be on the internet, face to face, or, you know, you know, people I know, but they're not around me who are now practicing activism, who are now fighting the isms of the world, like racism, sexism, classism, all those isms. Um, now at this moment in time and this video is not to point blame at those people um, because I'm human as well or to say shame on you for now you know standing up but it's more so to say that a message to everyone that we should be practicing activism at every point in our lives um, and I know sometimes because we are human we cower and in the face of those isms um, but I think it's about quantity. The more times that you do it, um, I feel that it's more beneficial for the world. Um, so I guess this video is in, in response to trends, you know, that people think it's okay to perform activism because it's now favorable, because it makes you now seem like a morally just person, and now it makes you seem like you're, you're great or, you know, are a really awesome person but in fact it makes you seem like you're doing things when it's convenient for you um, but that's it's not to point blame with those people who do that but more so to highlight highlight this issue in our communities that we should be fighting at every point um, because not so much based on the reactions of what other people are going to say but you know, just you being a really morally just person, you should always combat things that are injustices to other people. Um, so I feel like it's really important to not follow trends, but to do what's right at every point. Also know that at this time, it can be scary, you know, because things are coming out of the surface and you don't, a lot of people want to resume the privileges that they have to feel safe and against the things that are um, now coming out of the surface. But I think it's important not only to practice things um, all the time, but to break out of this fear. You know, every person 
um, is has has a right to live every person has a right to have their existence and live fully and happily and safely and comfortably um, and I feel like if we keep that message in our heads then um, the world would be a better place um, there was a video that I saw on Facebook that really um, captured all that I was thinking I think it was a Charlie Chaplin video um, it it was like on my timeline and it basically was it was pointing to a time where Charlie basically talked and the first time I think the first time he talked he had like the speech that was really extravagant um, and amazing and people were like wow and one thing that I got from that even though it was a fictional you know character is that a lot of the things that are in our world are powered by greed um, so whether that be like financial greed, you know, lust, you know, love of like, you know, sex, greed for, you know, power, like in our political systems. And I think that's where a lot of um, the root of our problems are coming from, this greed within um, ourselves as humans. Um, and fear, so greed and fear. Um, and I think when we kind of step back, take a few steps back, and we, we notice these insecurities, we notice these problems within ourselves, because I think it starts on an individual basis, that's when we can collectively become be better people. I think it starts from within. It starts from you as a person, you noticing um, the things that are wrong first, and then you can perform this activism. Because now us trying to scream at these people who you know who are racist who are sexist who are you know classist um and say you must change you must change if they don't want to change if it's not coming within themselves it will never happen um so i think it's important to constantly you know protest constantly you know put out this message of equality and love and peace and everything um but I honestly believe that it starts at an individual basis. And if those people, it's an unfortunate thing, but if those people don't want to change within themselves, then that's just their, their thinking. Um, but regardless of that, it's also important that, you know, but, but once that happens, once those people see that it's horrible to be racist and, and all these other isms, then um, we could all come together as a community and, you know, become better people. This video was kind of all over the place, but I think what I'm truly trying to get at is that every person has a right to live and live fully and beautifully um, and that you shouldn't cower away when things like those isms are in your face and, and you as a person should acknowledge what's right and what's wrong and practice those things at every stage of your life not just when it seems convenient and also that we need to acknowledge that growth happens individually first and we need to keep promoting these messages and so so that those those people who have undoubtedly problems within themselves and can't see this global you know thing that everyone should have this global right then um then we all can um, kind of move forward as a world as a global community so that's kind of like my message um what i've noticed um in these past few weeks so thanks guys for watching my video um this was more so a sit down and talk with me video um, just me just digesting all that's happening in the world. Uh, I really wanted to make a video about it, but I really want to reiterate that black lives do matter, women's lives matter, Muslim lives matter. Um, like every life matters. Um, like those movements don't take away from, you know, the idea or the concept that every life matters. It's just bringing the intention on the fact that those people, those minority groups aren't get, getting the justice that they need or that they, they deserve as human beings. Um, so I just wanted to put that out because that's really important. Uh, but thanks for watching my video, guys. Hopefully you come back 
next week when I'll have the video. But yeah, so thanks guys.